What exactly is hydration and why is this an important step when building React applications? Well, hydration is a concept you would hear of or something that comes up when working with server-side rendered HTML content. So here we're talking about frameworks like Next.js, Gatsby and the rest. But what exactly is hydration and why does this need to happen? Well, here I have a Next.js app example and I have a React app example and I'm going to show you how hydration applies to this. But before I move further to the code, let's start with this diagram. In the case of SSR, your client would send a request to the server that give me this page and then your server would respond with something your server is going to respond with some html to the client and then your client can show that on a web browser for example but then that html that comes to the client does not have any interactivity so your event listeners your use effect your use state all of that does not exist in the html so it gets to the client without that interactivity so how is that interactivity now added to your page on the client. Now, this is where hydration comes in. So the idea of hydration is that this HTML comes to the client kind of dry, no interactivity, and then hydration is React adding that interactivity to your HTML. If you don't really get it yet, don't worry. We're now going to see some code examples. So like I said, I have a Next.js app and I have a React app. Now, in the case of this Next.js app, this is the code for it here. I have this div, then I have this h1 next.js app. I have this button with my use state. So when you click on this button, you can see it increases. And then I have this p, some random content here. And what happens is that when I hit the server for this page, the server is going to return all of this HTML content here. But then we won't have our interactivity. So the use state, the button click would not be there if I should disable JavaScript. So I've disabled JavaScript now, if I should refresh, you can see that this is what comes from the server. We can even go to the network tab here, check this local host here. You can see this is what we get from this server, this HTML content here. Like I said, without hydration, you lose those interactivity. So now if I should click this button, you can see nothing is happening because this interactivity is a hydration process that happens on the client. The server sent HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript files, but because we have disabled that JavaScript, we don't have hydration. So our interactivity is not here. But then if I should go back and enable JavaScript, remember what I showed you here, the server sends the HTML, and it also sends CSS and JavaScript. Now, part of the JavaScript that runs is the hydration and that hydration adds the interactivity and now the button works fine. But then you're probably asking, why can't the server send the interactivity to the client? Well, the server cannot send DOM nodes directly to the client. The server is sending this HTML. You can think of it as it's sending this HTML as a string. In fact, I can even show you what it looks like. Here, I'm going to do const string equals render to string home so that you can see what it looks like. So if I should refresh in the console, you can think of the server sending a string like this to the client. And then the client sees this string. Of course, this string would contain other things like your uh, meta tags, the CSS references, JavaScript references. But let's just take this simple string as an example. So the browser sees this string and then interprets it on this page. This is the only thing the server can send. The server cannot send dub nodes that already have their event listeners attached to them. Hydration now would be the process of based on what you have defined in your component, it will attach attach the state, it will attach the on click and now your website can become fully interactive. But like I said, hydration is something that comes up in server side rendered content. So in a normal React application, which is client side rendered, you wouldn't need hydration. And the reason for this is if I should disable JavaScript in this application, now if I should refresh, what you see is that the page is 
blank. That's because in the case of a client side rendered application, the JavaScript is gotten from the server and the JavaScript is responsible for populating the DOM. In the case of server side rendered, the JavaScript on the client is not responsible for populating the DOM. The DOM is already populated from the content it gets from the server. So what you can think of in the server side application like Next.js is that on the server, when you make a request, Next.js would probably call something like render to string, just as we saw here. And then when this string gets to the client, then on the client, Next.js might now call something like hydrates, and then the interactivity is added on the client. But then in the case of a normal client-side React application, this is not called on the server. This server will just send the index.html, which in your normal React app looks like this. So you have your normal index.html, you have your div with an ID of root, and then you have your JavaScript. So the server just sends this file, and then this file gets to the client. So if we should go back to this React application, and I check the network tab, if I should refresh, you can see this is what the local host sends. It sends this index.html, where here you have your div ID of root, and then you have this JavaScript file. So now it is this JavaScript that runs on the client, and then populates the DOM. So if I should enable JavaScript, now if I should refresh, you can see that JavaScript is run and then it populates the DOM. So in this case, you don't need hydration because the JavaScript responsible for populating the DOM would also add the interactivity along. But then in the case of our server-side rendered application, Next.js in this example, the JavaScript on the client does not populate the DOM. Let me disable JavaScript again. What you see is that the JavaScript responsible for populating the DOM is run from the server and then we get the string version and then that string version is sent to the client but then there is no interactivity i'm clicking this button no interactivity whatever use effect whatever use state whatever javascript related stuff that you have in your component which is supposed to run on the client that is not going to work until hydration happens and this is why it's an important step when working with server side rendered content i hope this video helps and gives you a better understanding of hydration if you enjoyed the video please give a like share with others and subscribe for more simplified react videos like this